Hey up guys, join me today for a little Mediterranean adventure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a perv. Now, thing. Look at the size of this door. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Ancient artifact. <laughs> I'm in Cyprus today. I'm in the capital city of Nicosia. I'm in one half of it because it's actually split into two halves. The northern part is the Turkish side and the southern part is the Republic of Cyprus side, which is the Greek side. I'm going to be taking photos today of the beautiful mixture of architecture we've got. I'm stood in front of the Supreme Court. The British were here in 1878. Brexit. So there's a lot of British influenced architecture here. It's absolutely a mixture. If you're interested in history, it's got your back. There's so much stuff here from different empires, Ottoman Empire, Greek, uh, Venetians, British. It's got everything. I'm telling you, it's a lovely place. And you know what? Let's just get on with it. <laughs> a little bit of the fence shot in the foreground. And in that depth to the image. Yeah, it looks like I were right. This is the Supreme Court. Beautiful building. And opposite is a post office. I think all this is British architecture, but I could be wrong because I'm thick. Look at this. The old British post office letterbox. Original. Hello, original. Yes, original. What year? Do you know what year this is? Yusef Makima. Yusef Makima? Yes. Okay, cool. So it's, it's like the law courts. No, no problem. Okay, well, oh, where they get <laughs> sent down. So where I'm stood with all these law courts, post offices and all this British architecture is actually Ataturk Square, named after the first president of Turkey, um, Ataturk. As you can see his little head up there. I don't know if you can see him, so I'm just going to get a little shot of this on me. 70 mil, if you can see his head. That's the guy who started Turkey. And now I'm making my way further into the old town, past the touristy cafes and bars, until I reach a very interesting historical landmark. Behind me is the Buyuk Han, which is very famous in Cyprus. Built by the Ottomans in 1572, the year after, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hell, tornado. Anyway, what were I saying? I hope the audio's okay for you. It was built a year after the Ottomans seized the land from uh, the Venetians. I definitely just didn't read that from Wikipedia, I knew that. So Buyuk Han translates to Great Inn in Turkish. Uh, it was used for many years as what's called a caravanserai, which is a, a place for travellers and you know people uh, from centuries ago, somewhere for them to stay. Basically just like an inn. Um, but yeah, this is some 16th century Ottoman architecture you're looking at right now. Let's get some photos. I just found a lady of the night sat at a table. I'm just going to ask her if she would like um, a photograph, like a portrait. Excuse me, love. Could I take um, your portrait? Would you mind? Absolutely, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> right. Very nice pose you've got going on. I don't even have to direct you. Put your hand, left hand down. Get some of this table in. It's a nice angle. Very nice to meet you, love. Nice to meet you. One too. sec, let me just, uh... <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a perv. Now then. <laughs> anyway, sorry, no. Books galore. Overflowing. I'm not sure who she is. Oh, look at these. Authentic knitted animals. We've got a sheep, we've got some bears. Oh, we've got like a little gingerbread mitten. Do you speak English? 
Uh, ben, the photographer. Uh -huh. Would you like a photograph? Oh, of course. Is it okay? Why not? <laughs> Brilliant. Chuck Gazelle. This one also. Wow. Oh, very nice. Mm. You made these today? Oh, they're beautiful. Well, look at this. <laughs> Uh, this oh, is the from... designs of these yes. ancient artifacts. A big teeth, yes. Oh, ah, very cool, from 2500 uh -huh. BC. Uh -huh. Interesting. Are all these your. Yes, I made all of them. Very Chocolate. nice. Chocolate. Beautiful. And maybe one where you're working? Chuck Gazelle. Do you have any um, social media? Instagram, Facebook? Yes, Facebook. I, I could se send you the photographs. Where are you from? Uh, England. England. Yeah, yeah, England. I'm Leeds. from Leeds, Leeds in the yeah. north, yeah. Uh -huh. Near Manchester. Yeah. Uh, Brilliant. Chuck Gazelle. Chuck Gazelle. Bye bye. bye, bye. Ranging from leather making to clay sculptures, there's endless little trinkets here. Look at the size of this door. Going home now, bang! Come on, pissed, and you knock yourself unconscious. The health and safety here is uh, non-existent, to say the least. Fantastic. Thanks. Thanks. Chuck yourself. Touch your colour. Got to get the low shot in there. So I've now left Buyukan and I'm continuing to explore more of North Nicosia. Here is the Belladia Pazarai, which is a municipal market. Let's take a look and see what they've got on offer inside here. Here are the street cats. Hello. This is more example of the British influence on Cyprus. Who's this dude? Kind of looks like Van Gogh. Here he is, the founder. Ataturk. Princess Di, look. What's she doing here? So, so the man I just took a photo of in Buyukan uh, found me in the street, came up to me and said, make sure I keep hold of that photo because in 10 years time, there won't be any Turkish Cypriots left, which is a comment on the demographical change of um, more and more Turkish um, citizens coming over, basically re replacing the native Cypriot Turkish culture, to be honest. Um, it didn't want to be on camera, so I didn't film it, but it's very interesting to uh, to hear from, you know, an authentic Cypriot. Beautiful, beautiful shot. That is one sweaty back and back and sack. <laughs> Guys, my GoPro has just died, so I think that's a good indication of a place to stop the vlog. So, uh, thanks a lot for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed the ride. Please tune in next time. See you later. Bye.